So we're here at the ID Tech Hack Show, and uh, who are you? My name is Mira Wyman, I'm the CEO of Infitex. And uh, who are you? I'm Sarah Galasco, I'm the COO of Infitex. So what are you showing here? We're showing purely textile pressure sensors that measure change of pressure. So they can act as switches in our jackets that turn on and off devices, leaving you hands free. So uh, if I could just tilt the screen a little bit. So uh, it, how, how, how much uh, resolution is here? Uh, how, how, uh, the whole area is sensitive? The whole area is sensitive, and you can make it as wide or as narrow as you like. This is our multi-touch sensor, which can measure, for example, um, for bed sores, or it can go into shoes to measure your gait. Um, and it's got many, many uses, or it can also go in car seats to identify the driver. Do you have it in your clothes right now? I don't. But no. you have some in there? We have, we have some, some in our jackets. So where is it? It's down here underneath the switches. These switches are set up to control your device, which you pair with a Bluetooth chip, which is hidden away. And it's totally textile. It feels, it's nice and flexible. feels just like your normal clothes. Washable as well. And you have another one there yeah. behind? And we yeah. have another one here. Same here. So all in the fashion, um, a nice bomber jacket. And it's there. Yeah, and it's definitely. our textile is here, and then there's a conductive a conductive ribbon, but you would just feel like a normal textile to you. And then there's a chip, a Bluetooth chip hidden away, and it, it, you pair it with your device, and then you can keep your phone away when you're on the move and uh, keep on interacting with it. So you can ski with it, you can sail with it, you can horse ride, you can bike ride, you can be doing all sorts of things sports-wise, leaving you hands-free. And also you can, in your work environment, if you are in a sensitive work environment and you're gowned up or you've got gloves on or you're up scaffolding, you can also access your devices as need be. And if you're in a search and rescue party, you can use your walkie-talkie with the jacket on as well. Hey, can you imagine scenarios with more and more touch, different places? Absolutely, Definitely. why not? And do, what will it do? Like you can tap your shoulder to say, I'm, I'm busy, <laughs> tap the other shoulder to say, five minutes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Stuff like that? Or, or please come and help, they're yeah. an emergency. I've fallen and I can't move. Yeah. Yeah, or somebody can tap you on the side and say, hey, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, yeah. something, some kind of... Oh, yes. your jacket lights up. Yeah. There's all yes. kinds of... But this is functional, this is not... No trivial, gimmicks. no gimmicks, not just flashing lights on a dress. This is purely functional stuff. I think flashing lights could be functional. <laughs> they could be. I want yes. people to notice yes. and yes. has some potential yes. outcome. Yes, yes, Maybe. it's very good. If you're Lady Gaga and you want to perform on stage yeah. and say, hey, come and see me, or, fine. Or if you're the road worker, if you're on the, out on the highway fixing the road in the middle of the night, you could have flashing lights saying, go left, bear left, bear left, or, you know, yeah. speed limit, 20 miles an hour, and that kind of information. And if you want to be discreet, yeah. you can have one embedded in your jacket um, that is, help, I'm being attacked. Ooh. And that's, that's, that's a very discreet way of being in touch with whoever it is, because you're paired to your, your phone. So what does Infitex uh, stand for? Infinite way of using textile sensors. And uh, uh, what's, can you describe more about the technology? What kind of uh, technology is in here? There's three, we've, we've patented three ways. The black stuff is our proprietary compound, and it's Lighting. usually a resistor, but when you press it, it changes its activity and becomes a conductor. Then around that is a three layer sandwiches. These are three layers of conductive textiles. So when you press, it shows where and how much it's been pressed. And the white bit is a conductive data ribbon. So that takes all the information generated by you interacting with your clothes, that takes it off. So that's three patents, the black, the three, and the ribbon. And it's and all super flexible. Super yeah, flexible, like super washable, super usable, and you can gather a lot of big data just by wearing your clothes. And uh, uh, washable, unbreakable? Washable, unbreakable, durable, uh, and retrofitable. And uh, sweatable, sweatable, uh, swimmable, swimmable. Do you know how long it takes for an af uh, um, an elite female swimmer to put on her swimsuit? 
uh, I don't know, five minutes? It takes 42 minutes. 42? 42, because um, it needs to be <laughs> fitted to her body. So we've worked with Speedo, um, and it works. And you can either stretch it on, so it needs to be near to the skin to be able to measure whatever you want to measure, the change of pressure. Or it goes into your shoes to measure your gait, how you're standing and for rehabilitation to improve your walk to improve your run to improve all of that and also for health stuff neuropathy and diabetic foot ulcers so actually it measures your body yes. it measures it measures it's not just input with a finger and stuff no, it, it's the whole body yes because it measures change of pressure your body is moving all the time there's lots of data to be got off your body, off your walking, off your breathing, off your touching, off your just sitting, relaxing. So in a in a um, an old people scenario, you can put it in your seat and see if the old person is getting tired, even not an old person, anybody getting tired or depressed. They're not they're not active properly in the room. That means acting on their own, then you can alert the carer to say they need to go out. You can tell if a person's going in, going out, fallen in the bathroom, um, fallen out of bed, all with no camera and no alarm. This is purely looking after our loved ones with dignity. It's, it's, wrapping, it's wrapping them up with uh, care. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, right? Um, it's, yes, I suppose. It's I not just geeky say, technology it's, stuff. It's not geeky technology. It's actually loving technology. So, so it's not going to be just for the remote control on the, on the no. sleeve. No. It's going to be the whole, the whole, uh, all parts of the clothes. So, uh, all parts of the clothes or the upholstery. You can also use it as a control device in your headboard to switch on and off your television or to answer the door, you just do it from your headboard. So you don't need to get out of bed to, to do that. Can you combine this with some heating and cooling system too? You can do, why not? It's just something else, right? To it's add just to the... something else. It's and only a little panel, so why not? All right, and displays. And displays. Flexible so that display? Mix it with a display, that's software development. So what you do with your software is your business. Nice. Uh, does it work in shoes? In shoes, I just talked about in, in the, the gait, how you're standing, in the soles, how you're standing, how you're leaning, how you're... Um, so for rehabilitation on a yoga mat or on a video gaming mat, you can do some video gaming, you know where you are, what you're doing. It adds another whole dimension. And we also do track wall, where you can measure how you're throwing the ball how your how you can improve that throw or um in a shoe maybe how you've kicked the ball or how you've hit a tennis racket or how you've hit a squash racket then it, as i said infitech's an infinite way of using our technology and what's the background of this technology how much has been proven and used and how far are we from uh, everybody using this all the time so in 2003 steve jobs saw this technology we're in steve jobs land and um, saw this technology and asked a very well-known ski jacket manufacturer to manufacture some jackets a thousand jackets to trial to move his ipod so he controlled his iPod on his jacket, and we've still got some of those jackets to this day. But 500 jackets got sold one morning in Aspen. Now, the company in England, in the north of England, weren't, weren't focused on jackets. They were focused on Samsung screens. So they wanted to follow that, and they let the technology go. I was very fortunate, and I managed to buy it from the receiver and develop it on, and here we are today. So yes, it's been known and we've worked with it. The real difficulty was the difficulty that everybody else in the wearable space is, that the manufacturer of ordinary jackets is very different to the manufacturer of electronics. And we are at the apex of wearable tech, doing the textile and electronics, bringing them together to a very satisfactory conclusion. This is definitely the next iPhone, right? <laughs> because iPhones are boring now. 
Yeah. Yeah. And now yes, you want to you want to wear the, the exactly. Cheap. But also your iPhone is expensive. Your iPhone costs a thousand dollars the new ones. Yeah. So you want to look after it better. So you keep it away. But you still want to interact with it. Even answer your phone. This works to Siri, for instance. You can talk to Siri through your jacket. You can have a little microphone in it. And yeah, everybody's got the devices. Or you might be a worker who might be down the big hole um, in a not very nice situation, and you don't want to take out the phone, you don't want to damage it, but you want to interact and record your life. Because it's actually a little bit sad uh, what's going on with the iPhones and stuff. But it's so expensive. But uh, we need a different, well, different society I tell where you, people where, where, just where, are more natural. Yes, because to go to a cafe or anywhere to see a family all sitting fixed on their phone is really awful whereas they could just be wearing their jacket and talking to each other like normal wouldn't that be better because uh, usually you're just checking the phone to see if somebody loves you kind of yes but actually you can maybe feel it, uh, you could feel it. and yes. you can communicate it by just yes. uh, tapping, touching. Yes. touching a little bit and not thinking about looking at a screen all the time that's right and imagine what it does for your eyes when you're looking at the, that screen all the time uh, you know it really does damage like looking into the sun yes all right cool so looking forward to uh, uh, all the future clothes that's going to come out with this right yes, and this yes, is very soon you. very Good, soon very right? soon we're here now we're we're, we're already talking to manufacturers right now